Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to another episode of Brew and Build. Today we are just doing some work up here, just getting some stones laid, and I am now realizing that I cannot get back over there. Good thing we have scaffolding. Um, today what we're going to be doing is a little bit of cleanup slash uh, catch-up work. So as uh, many of you know from the previous episodes, I, I really just haven't had time to be able to do like, I've been able to do a lot of these builds, but I haven't been able to like finish them. I mean, as you know, for a lot of YouTube based things, um, the way you can we can like get videos out pretty, pretty efficiently is to build up the majority of it and build up like almost a facade of or like, like that, take that build for example. It's basically complete. It just needs two sides of it finished. Uh, well, I guess three because that one has to change. That finished side has to change as well. Um, and then this build as well has the front two sides, that side and the side over there done. But this one hasn't been touched and the one on this side hasn't been touched. Um, other than that, it's complete. Um, and I just have been so busy with work that I haven't been able to really do anything along those lines like I haven't been able to put in a little bit of extra time in order to you know get a build finished and so what I want to do today is do a bit of catch up and make it so that we have complete builds um, so it's not going to be really anything terribly um, I guess finished or like finished new um, but I think it, it regardless it's going to be good uh, I just want to be able to get all this stuff that we've started and basically finished actually fully finished. So I've got a few odds and end jobs to do today, um, and I thought I would discuss a few different things with you as we go. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, finish this. This is not going to be particularly interesting for you, so uh, just making a big old boulder essentially. Um, so let me go ahead and finish this and then we'll get started with the building. All right, I think that looks better. Just a little detail with the stone there and I think it looks good. Uh, I may go through and add some buttons on the ends of all those logs that are sticking out, but that is something I can just do very, very quickly. Not a big deal. Um, I think the first thing I want to start with is actually making this build complete because it is probably the least work out of everything uh, just have to do this circle pattern on two sides and then do this pattern on one side and then this pattern on the other so i am going to go ahead and do that and then we can do a fly around and take a look at it i don't really want to do too much building on camera uh, i may do some new build ideas with like the flooring down there that's one of the projects i may want to get into uh, it kind of depends uh, we may do some planning as well in this episode i really am kind of just uh, shotgunning this early and seeing what happens because there's a lot of stuff that i want to get done and i just know i won't have a lot of time to record this week because this week is crazy i have 14 interviews to do for a project i'm working on so that's gonna be fun uh, so let me go ahead and get some work on this and then we'll get to looking at it all right, so I've been doing a little bit of work off camera. I actually did a lot more to the crane than uh, I was planning on it. The outside is totally done, and I did the entire interior. And we're going to take a look at that because I am actually really, really pleased with how the interior turned out. Uh, some quick things to go over about the exterior. Let's go ahead and get on up. Oh, get up here. Up here and up here, boom. So some small minor things that we've done to the outside. As you can see now, this goes all the way around and that's all good. I also added, let's get a little zoom. Also added some little niblets there on either end. I think that gives the uh, crane like extender portion an interesting shape. Uh, really like how that turned out. I think that looks really good. Now something to take a look at here that I think we didn't even think of, I didn't even think of, is there has to be a spot for a crane operator. So I've made a 
interior portion that is all for the crane operator, which you can see, nope, not that. I want to zoom in. You can see right there, the window right there is where the crane operator would be to kind of show, like be able to like see, be in there sitting in a chair controlling the crane. And you can see all the way out to where the log would fall down. Now let's zoom back out because, oh my goodness, I, I miss Optifine Zoom. I really miss it. Uh, one minor thing to show you as well, um, just briefly, is I changed the texture of our glass. Um, before we had a bigger circle um, around this, we had some pixels that went around here and made a little bit bigger of a circle. And these white pieces were actually four pixels in a little further in. I reduced the amount of white and got rid of the outside pixel ring here and just made it so it was like this much cleaner, much simpler, and I like this a lot more. It's a lot easier on the eyes, um, not nearly as much as going on, and I think it makes such a big difference because this really was super noisy, um, and it it had the aesthetic that I wanted, um, but it was just too much, and I really like this more. I think this is a, a good compromise to keep it with this like style, but not get so crazy in the details with it. So I'm really happy with that. Now let's go take a look at this crane because I am so, so happy. So the front had to change just a little bit in terms of the design. I need to put maybe some stairs there and there. Um, and then I think that will finish off this portion. Um, but as you can see, now we have this window. Almost looks like a little heart because he loves his job. Whoever is in there loves his job. Um, so we come in here and we've got an entrance right here. And down here is just some storage. And so I decided, you know what, we're just gonna make this some storage. Every single bit of this is mob proof because these are slabs and stairs so they can't spawn there. Um, we've got some extra chain links just in case some break or need replacement uh, from the actual chain itself. Uh, so I thought that was a cool addition to put in there. Um, so this is just storage, nothing too crazy or anything. But then we have a staircase that leads all the way up here. And then boom, this is the operators, uh, uh, crane operators room. We've got some shelving right here. And then this is the crane operator's chair. The idea is that it can kind of raise and lower and this beam right here also can raise and lower. And the reason there's a beam is because you have to kind of crouch there because you can't fit under that. So the crane operator sits here and the idea is this folds down, you can go in there and then this disconnects so that this can freely move. He's got some controls here, some levers to figure out like how far and uh, how like the just control the crane. Um, and then you get down here and you can have a nice view as to right down there. Now, obviously this is Minecraft. It's a little hard to uh, showcase that. Um, but it is good nonetheless. I'm really happy with how this has turned out. Now the big portion of this, the big design stuff is actually up above. Now let's get right here. It's up above. So I tried to, on the level where the actual circle is, I tried to put a sort of idea of what it would look like when it actually comes up. Now you can see there's a lot of stuff going on up there. So I'm going to go into spectator mode because there's no good way to view this um, outside of spectator mode because it's pretty crazy. So the view upwards is actually is pretty neat. I tried to make it an interesting look. Um, this is all mob proof both by lighting and by slabbing. Same with this. So this is very flat, um, but the idea the, this is just like the the disc outside. That's where it connects is the point of it. So I thought that was a kind of a cool connection. Now this, let's look up here. So this is where our crane line comes in. You see this is the the where the chain comes in through here, goes all the way through here. And then it comes in here. And I was trying to think like it needs to feed down into it. So we've got our counterweight over there. Um, so it needs to feed down. So it actually starts feeding down right here. So it feeds down and then it breaks into two sections, starts feeding almost like it's like this line right here and this line right here um, kind of break apart. So one side gets pulled into this area here and then one side gets pulled here. 
And so when it goes down even further, you see it gets fed into these two lines, like it's being kind of like filtered through here. I thought this was re a really cool look to it, especially when it was just it, it looked really cool. Um, and then we've got these gears here that kind of interlock and this beam would be like rotating to pull and push this around. And this is where the chain is coiled up. I thought this was so, so cool. It looks like it's a chain that's coiled up. And I thought this was just a really, really cool aesthetic actually gives a quote unquote function to our crane and i am just when you add this and you know the interior is done i'll never see this again probably uh, unless i'm giving like a world tour or something but the fact that this is done just makes me so happy so i spent a lot of time on this wasn't even planning on doing this in this episode but just decided to and i think it looks super super cool and so this is a really easy way to do a uh, sort of a, a cog look that looks like motion you just have stairs like they're actually being rotated around not perfect but you can do it and they it looks like they can interconnect and stuff and twist around i thought it was a really really cool looking design so that is this build all done and dusted golly i just burped and kind of like surprised myself but that is this all done and i am so happy with it so let's go back into a survival so the crane is done and you know i was going to continue working over here on the this tree cutter downer thingy but i don't really want to right now i just I don't know. I've been doing a lot of these like stairs and this design outside and doing a lot of vertical building. Don't really want to do that. Instead, what I think a build that I still have yet to get around to finishing that I'd like to jump into with you is actually the sheep farm, uh, sheep, the wool farm, because we have the back end here. This is not what we're going to be tackling. I'll finish this off camera. Um, but what I wanted to finish this episode out is to just take a moment and tackle the inside here. So walling stuff off and then just making it more interesting to be in this building and to actually have kind of a shopping experience. So I'm going to go ahead and take a crack at this, see what I come up with, and I'll be back with hopefully some final results. All right, so I have finished off the inside of the wool farm and it's looking good. So you come in here and you just have this real simple front, almost like a, a foyer, foyer, foyer. I don't know if foyer is the correct way to pronounce it, but the foyer. Uh, you just have this little nice foyer and you've got these two side doors, which will just lead out as like maintenance doors. Uh, not really just meant to be there so I can get out to the farm in case something were to break. I don't think anything should, but just in case we have entrances on either side. Then you get into the actual main farm itself and it's looking good. Yes, I have a sheep bouncing. Didn't know what to do with him and uh, he was annoying me so I kind of just pushed him off the edge and leaded him to the chandelier and uh, well, it's pretty funny. I actually think it looks kind of funny. Um, but this is what it looks like. So bottom doesn't look like it changed much. Shape, changed the shape of this a little bit. It used to be almost like a little rounded and I decided to change it. Added a lot of plants. I thought that would help. Um, and I made a ceiling. Originally, this was going to look all the way up through the skylight, but I decided it's off center. It doesn't work that well. So I just closed it up and I think it looks good. All of these have hidden lighting in them just so we can have very lit up places and don't have to have chandeliers or lanterns everywhere. I think it looks good. I also changed it so the wool was on top of the chests. I know I can't open these, but they're not going to get full anytime soon. And if they do, it's not that big of a deal to oh, figure out like how to open them or do like some sort of hopper mechanism or something. Not that big of a deal. So not going to really mess with that too much. Um, but yeah, the ceiling is very interesting. Decided to have some hanging plants that so that was kind of a, a fun thing to do. Decided to make them just attached to fences. I usually try and put like trap doors and stuff around them, but I think this works. I wanted to try and experiment with this a little bit more and I really like how it turned out. And so, yeah, this is 
done and dusted. The inside of this is now officially done. And now off camera, I'm gonna finish off while I'm in the mood to finish this, I will finish off the outside. And then uh, we will have this build all fully done. But I think that is gonna have to do it for this episode, guys. Sorry for just sort of an odds and ends sort of episode, but I really just haven't had a lot of time to sit down and do some new stuff. Um, and so I decided this was a good kind of break for me while work is being a little hectic that I can really sit down and just focus on getting some of the old builds done that we never really had time to finish. Whoa, that's kind of crazy. There we go. Look how close I am, do ya? Anyways, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys have liked it. Um, and if you have, leave a like in real life. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Uh, bye bye <laughs>